and I'm back and I'm back with another video. I'm Tia. Welcome back to my channel. First things first, I need y'all to thumbs up the video. I need you to hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and then as you watch the video, I need you to comment and I like you and I need you to share the video. Can y'all do that for me? Okay, now let's get into the video. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna jump right into this. So this video is going to be um, me making um, cupcakes in the air fryer. Now, let me tell you how, how, how I decided to do this. I love my air fryer and I try to cook everything in it. Now I was out running errands, oh, I just got home. That's why I got on a windbreaker hoodie or whatever you call this thing. So I just got home like 10 minutes ago. Y'all, I took my shoes off, but I still got my clothes on. So I was like, let me go ahead and do the introduction before I get undressed. So I was in the dollar store because I needed to pick up a few items and I saw this. Okay, y'all see that? Yeah, and I was like, ooh, cupcakes. And I don't like turning my oven on if I don't have to because it makes it so hot in here and it takes so long for it to cool down. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try the cupcakes in the air fryer. That way, if they don't turn out right, I wouldn't have um, wasted my cake flour and all my eggs and stuff. So I need to get the little baking cups. Just some little regular little baking cups. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get undressed, put on a t-shirt. Um, I might put on a, um, what you call it? I lost my thought. The apron, yeah, I got a couple aprons. I might put on an apron, but I'm gonna put on a t-shirt and then I'll go ahead and make the cake better. I won't record doing that, but when, when I come back, we'll be getting ready to put the cupcakes in the air fryer and see how they turn out, okay? I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Uh, got on my t-shirt. Ain't it mine, cause I'm so Memphis. Um, anyway, cake batter all together. Put it in a measuring cup with a spout. Pour it into these baking cups. And oh yeah, I lined the inside of this with oil. Uh, I think I'm already messing up. So we're gonna put this in here and see what happens. I probably, I wonder if I should have gotten, mm, we're gonna see, these cupcakes ain't gonna come out right. I mean, they might taste all right. Okay, y'all, this is gonna be batch number one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna put them in here. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on 360 and let's try. Okay, so the directions say for the cupcakes, if you're doing it in the oven, to put them 350 for 19 to 23 minutes. So, what? I am going to, ooh, I think I, think I probably put too much batter in here. We gonna see. Okay, so, batch number one, let's put it on uh, 23 minutes at 360. And we are gonna see what happens, y'all. All right, be back. Okay, y'all, um, I'm back. Now I had checked on them halfway through and they were looking fine, smelling good. You know how I can't smell when it's in the oven? Well, I went in my room and started doing something and uh, forgot about them. And I actually meant to check on them because I know the air fryer can cook pretty fast. But I put them on 23 minutes, but uh, I think I burned them. <laughs> I should have put them on like 19 minutes. So uh, this is how it look. <laughs> <laughs> so batch one uh is burnt so let me get ready for batch two and then we're gonna see what happened all right okay y'all back again batch number two uh they look a little darker on there but they're they're not burnt um so this time i put the air fryer on 15 minutes instead of 23 minutes and this is how they look. Now, while I was waiting, I um, tried the other ones and they taste pretty good. They're nice and fluffy and, and moist, like airy on the inside. It's just a left minute or too long, so they burn on the top. So, while I let these cool off, um, I think because I don't have like, I wanna do they make cupcake tins or muffin tins that'll fit in the air fryer, like the little individuals or something. But anyway, 
what I'm gonna do is take these out and I think I'm just gonna make one layer of cake with the rest of the cake batter. See how that comes out. So y'all give me a minute, let me get my stuff together. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I forgot to turn the camera back on. So what I did was decided to line the bottom of this air fryer with parchment paper. And we're gonna put the rest of this um, cake batter in here. See, we're gonna make a one layer of cake. And try not to get it too brown on the top. Okay. We're gonna see how this turns out. And I just thought about it. I did not buy any icing, frosting, or anything to go on these cupcakes. So I'll probably make something, I guess. We're gonna see. This was just a last minute idea, spur of the moment, because I saw the stuff in the store. So let me even that out. All right, y'all, see, it's in there. It's in there. Okay, so this time, let's see. We're gonna leave it on 360, and um, we're gonna put it on. Let's try 10 minutes. I'm gonna try 10 minutes and see after 10 minutes what it's looking like if I need to put it back in for a few more minutes. So, 10 minutes, y'all. We're gonna see what's going on. All right. Okay, y'all, so after 10 minutes, this is how we're looking. I can still tell that it's a little um, jiggly in the middle, so the cake is not all the way cooked in the middle. So I'm gonna put it back in for five more minutes, and I think I'm gonna turn it down to 320. Put it back in there for about five more minutes and see how it turns out. Okay, bye. Okay, y'all, Um, after the five minutes was up, I was watching TV, I was watching Girlfriends, and uh, forgot to come over here and check the cake. So y'all don't see see it with me so we did an initial 10 minutes and then looked at it and then another five minutes so okay yeah check us out check us out what we looking like what we looking like look like let me see all right okay so i'm gonna let this sit and cool off and figure out what my next step is because i gotta figure out something because baby these just looking so, uh, yeah. They look like some rocks. <laughs> I mean, they taste good, I promise they do. But they look like some rocks. Yeah, I, I can't let nobody see this. Yeah, they'll clown me. I ain't got time to be checking these folks. So, let me figure out what I can do to uh, refurbish, repurpose something. So, I gotta go sit down and think. Let me watch some more girlfriends and let some come to me. And whatever I figure out, then you all will see the end results when I get back. So hold on, be right back. Y'all, um, these folks eating up my cupcakes before I can even put icing on them. It's the next day. I was tired last night. I went to bed. It's my, the thumbs up for the cake cake. <laughs> okay. They told me don't worry about putting icing on the cake. The cupcakes, but I'm gonna make um I'm gonna try to make like a little buttercream icing. Probably make it orange since it's um yeah, and put it on there and put some sprinkles or something. So yeah, let me see what I can do. Yeah, but they said forget putting icing on these cakes. My daughter said they're really really moist. You like them, D? <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? Okay, I'm back. Um, it's two days later. Since I did the cupcakes and the cake, so um, yeah, I lost all my spunk. I was tired. Um, migraine was bothering me. So anyway, my daughter and my grandson they ate up most of the cupcakes. So I was just like, forget it. I'm not even gonna finish the video. I'm not gonna fool with the cakes. Well, um, my daughter asked me this morning. She was like, Are you gonna put the icing on the cake? So what I had to do was go ahead and get up because I was trying to lounge around and. Uh, this is what the cake ended up looking like. Hold on. So I made some buttercream icing and just added um, some red and yellow dye, food coloring to make it orange, put some sprinkles on top. All I had at the house was 
um, yellow, no, I'm, I'm sorry, gold, black, and white sprinkles. So I just put them on there just to decorate the cake. So, Didi, come on in here. Ooh. Didi, come on in here and um, taste this cake. Yeah, I was gonna say forget it. But those cupcakes were actually good. They were ugly, but they were good. <laughs> Hold on, y'all, let me move it. Let me move this down. You, you want me to cut it? It's okay, Dee. You want some cake, Dee? You want cake? Yeah. Oh, um, I can cake. Okay, let's cut the cake. Okay. I want to camera you have to tell them how it tastes it tastes good is it fluffy is it moist is it dried out tell me about the inside it's moist it's moist and good hold on little baby hmm. so y'all i guess even though the cupcakes came out looking ugly like I told y'all, they were airy inside. Can you? It's real. It's moist. And soft. And good. So, I guess we can say it was not a fail. It's actually really good. So. Air fry cut. We did that pretty good. Oh, let me show you. When I did the the ten minutes, then the five minutes, I made fifteen. But because I had the parchment paper in the bottom, when I pulled it out, I let it cool. You know, I was watching TV. So when I finally took it out of the actual fryer, flipped it over to take the parchment paper off. It was still, it wasn't all the way done. So I did, I flipped it over, put it back in the air fryer for like another, maybe 15 minutes, but it was on like 320 and then it was fine. So yeah, I did have to let it cook a little longer, but y'all, this cake is good. It tastes just as good as the cake in the, um, in the oven. So and like, this is a, this is not even a full layer. I guess maybe so, because remember I made cupcakes with the rest of the batter, so pretty good, y'all. I say if you want to alternate way to, I wouldn't do the cupcakes, because they're not going to stay in the form, but I think I'm going to try a whole cake in the air fryer coming up. So thank y'all for watching. See y'all next time. Bye.